But then the longer they got, I was like, ooh, it's worth it. It's worth it because I love them. Love my locks. It's your girl, Bree, and I'm back again. Hey, y'all. How are y'all doing? So we are getting ready to do a video about the pros and cons of beginning locks or starting your locks. And I just felt like this was a good video for people that's thinking about getting locks or has thought about it and never did it. This is the video for you. So we're going to get right into it. And as I'm doing this video, I'm going to be taking my hair style down because it's time. It's time to wash my hair. So I'm going to be looking at my phone because I wrote some stuff down so I can have everything organized and I won't forget nothing. I'm going to go over the pros first and then we're going to go over the cons. So locks are very versatile. You can do a lot of things with them. You can do little updos like this. You can do it all down and do little twists like this. Um, you can do a lot of stuff. I'm going to actually put some pictures of different styles on the screen so y'all can see how versatile locks really are. But I'm doing more running my mouth than taking my hair loose. But <laughs> that was that one. They are very versatile. That's what I love about locks. The next pro I love about locks is that it's easy to maintain. Very easy. You can get up and go. You don't have to worry about waking up, figuring out what you're going to do to your hair because it's already done. If you want to do something, you can style it, but you really don't even have to style it. You can just wear it all down. And y'all, these are, there's some rubber bands in my hair. So I'm not cutting my hair. I'm just cutting the rubber bands. Yeah. But, um, uh -oh. hold on y'all. But yeah. And the, even the washing and drying on the hair is really easy. You ain't got to worry about it looking crazy. It might look fuzzy a little bit, you know, after a while. But once you get a retwist, it does last for a good minute. Okay, so this is the next pro, and I love this pro. It does build your confidence. Now, what I mean by that is that if you're one of those people that feel like you need weave to build your confidence, I'm here to tell you, locks, as they grow, I'm telling you, you're going to feel like a baddie with your real hair. Oh, and that goes into the next thing. Your hair grows like crazy. If you've been having trouble with your hair growing and you just feel like it's like at a length and it's not getting longer, like it's at a standstill, that's how I felt. I felt like my hair was at a standstill because I had an afro before I got my locks and that afro was not going nowhere. It was not going nowhere. It was at one length and it just wasn't going nowhere and I was just like you know what I want my hair to grow I want my hair to be healthier I want to be able to watch my hair grow and watch it flourish you know oh and this is another pro and I think this is a good pro it is a long-term protective style you know how when you've been getting weave you want a protective style baby you ain't got to worry about getting them expensive braids or that expensive um, wig. You can get you some locks and you're good to go. It's gonna be a forever protective style. You ain't gotta worry about breakage if you're doing the right things with your hair. You ain't gotta worry about none of that. This is a forever protective style. You ain't gotta worry about nothing. So now that I've went over the pros, I'ma also go over the cons. So the first con I have, oh, this one, I was affected by this because I was not, well, I did not do my research. So it is easy to get lint in your locks. If 
you know, you can get it from laying on blankets that shed. You can get it from a jacket or a shirt that sheds and got maybe fluffy or the kind of material that sheds. You can get it in your lots and baby, it is hard to get out, especially when you don't get it out right away. Matter of fact, I'm going to show you because we, we being transparent on here. So I'm going to show you. Let me see. It's kind of hard to see it if you're not really looking at it because it's in the back. It's like my last row address. So let me see. Let me see if I can find it. Okay. These. You can't. It, it ain't really that noticeable. But these locks, they have lint in it. Like within the dreadlocks. And as you can tell, like from the bottom, I have been picking at it to try to get some of that lint out. But I realized that it's not that noticeable. So there's really no need for me to pick through my lock and try to get the lint out because it's not that noticeable. You can't really tell that I have lint in there unless you're really, really looking at it. So I just left it alone. Oh, another thing too with that, if you're going to wear something that sheds like that, make sure you're wearing your locks up so that your locks are not hanging down, rubbing up against the material that's shedding. That's a good way to do that. Make sure you're not laying your head without like a scarf or like a bonnet on on material that sheds. There's ways to prevent that, but I wasn't, I wasn't paying attention, basically. Oh, and this is a good one. You got to be careful with dyeing your locks. If you're going to dye your locks, you need to do it professionally. Because, y'all, I was at the store and this girl was like, oh my goodness, I love your locks. They're so pretty. They're so thick. I love your locks. She was like, I did have locks, but I dyed them and all my hair started falling out. So that scared me. But y'all know I did like a, I did a semi-permanent dye, but it wasn't like a harsh dye. It was like a, a level one dye. So it really didn't do anything to my hair. Like you can barely even tell. I got a little bit of color in it. You can barely tell. Barely. That color did not stay in it. It really just washed out. Because this looks like my natural color right here. So definitely be careful with that. Don't be trying to do it yourself. Especially if you got that kind of hair that is easily to break off. Don't do it. Don't do it. Make sure you're going to a professional that actually knows what they're doing and knows what to do and what not to do when it comes to dyeing your locks, you know? Yeah, it can cause damaging to your locks and it, and it could cause them to fall out. So just don't even take that risk. This is the con slash advice. So, and I'm, I'm also taking out the little accessories out of my hair because I plan on washing it pretty soon so I'm gonna do that as well okay if you got fine hair or like fine or thin hair texture do not be getting them sister locks don't get them sister locks because I know somebody who has sister locks and has thin hair and it just makes her hair look real thin it makes her look almost bald because she decided to get sister locks, which is very thin locks, on thin hair. It don't look good. It don't look good. I just recommend not to do that. Because my hair, believe it or not, before I got locks was very fine hair. Borderline. I ain't going to say thin, but it was just fine hair. Like the texture of it is real fine. So I knew that I didn't want thin, I didn't want small locks or sister locks. I knew I didn't want that. I knew I wanted something that was going to make my hair look thicker 
than it actually was at the time. So that's why I went bigger in the length of my locks. That's why I went bigger when it came down to the size, the actual size of my locks. So when you have like thick hair, thick, full, beautiful, very thick, thick hair, it's okay for you to do sister locks or small locks. It's gonna look good on you because you got that thick, thick hair. So when you're doing them small, tiny locks, it's going to look good because you got all this hair and it's like very full and pretty. Y'all know what I'm talking about. Okay, let me see here. I'm trying to get the, the all the accessories off the bottom before I work on the top. Okay, this is another kind that you need to be prepared for if you decide to get locks. Okay, so the longer and thicker your hair gets, the more heat your head will attract especially in this summer heat you're gonna be hot you're gonna be hot because i'll be hot hot i'll be hot when i'm outside for long periods of time with all these with all this hair on my head so just be prepared to be hot <laughs> but honestly a lot of hairstyles are like that though to be honest a lot of them any style that you're going to have a lot of hair with, it's going to draw heat to you. It don't bother me that much anymore. But before I got used to my locks, it was hot. I was like, oh, I'm so hot. I'm so hot. But then the longer they got, I was like, oh, it's worth it. It's worth it because I love them. Love my locks. This is the most popular con because most people don't get locks or decide that they don't want them because of the beginner stage aka the ugly stage people call it ugly stage i call it beginner stage because i don't feel like it's ugly i feel like you're doing something that long term is going to be beautiful so i don't like to call it the ugly stage but some people call it the ugly stage so before my locks were long and thick and beautiful. My locks were short. Very, very short. Like, I want to say like that. I'm going to put like a video or a picture on whichever side of the screen. Probably, probably this side. I like putting stuff on this side. And I'm going to show y'all how short I started off. And like, I didn't really care though, because I, I know I'm a beautiful girl. So, by my hair being like that, it really didn't bother me too much. But sometimes I would like a little razzle-dazzle. And I would wear wigs, and I would wear scar scarves. Like, you know them scarves where you do the little, you know, the little circle thing at the top. And it's a scarf, you pull like that and do like that. I'm going to show y'all a picture so y'all know what I'm talking about because I don't know how to explain it. But I used to wear scarves, wigs, and stuff because sometimes I didn't want to have a little bitty dress all around my head everywhere I went. So you could do that too. Now eventually, you're not going to want to cover up your locks because they're going to get long. They're going to get long and thick and it's going to be too hot for all that on your head. And that's what happened with me. Soon as my wig started looking nappy, because wigs, them, them cheap wigs, they'll get nappy in a second. But um, yeah, I, I threw away my wig and I was like, uh-uh, we finna wear this hair. We finna wear this hair. Okay, now that I got all the gold pieces out, I'ma take down this updo. Let me see. This one got a lot of rubber bands through it. So it's going to be kind of difficult. Hold on, y'all. Whew. Ooh, y'all. <laughs> this, this hairstyle might look a little cute. You know, a little, a little dumb on each side. That'd be cute. I might try that style one day. That was actually the last con 
was that's why most people don't like to get their locks. I've heard of people, um, I've heard of people adding false lock hair to their locks and like cutting it off until like, like as your hair gets longer, cutting the, um, weave off like your real dreads. I just didn't want to go through that. I didn't want to go through that. So I chose not to do that. Since I'm consistently having to look in the mirror and not in the camera, I'm gonna go ahead and end the video here. I hope that everybody that's thinking about getting lots or always wanted to get lots, go ahead and try it. You never know. It takes a while for your locks to actually lock in. So you have time to take it out if you choose, if you don't want to do it anymore. You have a little bit of time to take it out, like try it. And if you don't like it, take it out. And then, you know, if you do want to just go full throttle and get your locks, go ahead and do it. I'm telling you, you're going to love your hair. It's going to make you feel so much better about your hair and your appearance when you have locks. You're going to love it. So, thank y'all so much for watching this video. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. We on the way to 500 subscribers, so help your girl get there. Bye.